Hey there, Jackie here. Welcome back to my channel. I had so much fun this weekend. I went to Los Angeles. I live in La Jolla, California. I went up to LA um, to be with one of my clients who just got engaged. So exciting. And she had her wedding dress um, sitting where they, you know, she tried on a bunch of wedding dresses. They took her measurements and it was just really wonderful to be a part of that. And I just love being around um, brides and women that are getting married. There was a whole bunch of other women there and it was really exciting, really fun. High vibe. It was all about the high vibes. And one of the things that came up during our conversations over the weekend was what are the qualities and traits that you feel that you possess that that created that enough attraction where your fiance proposed to you. So I wanted to make you a video about three traits that men need. Okay, so if you know me and if you've been following me, you know that I'm all about personal empowerment. I'm all about feminine energy. I'm all about raising your vibration, raising the bar, being the best version of yourself. So that's where I'm coming from when I'm giving you these three traits that men need, quality men need to have a healthy relationship. And I'm, you know, I'm talking to women that are middle aged, but I think this applies to everyone. Let's jump into the first trait that men need. And that is honesty. I think honesty is so important. Now, I'm going to say honesty with limited openness. It's so important to not overshare when you're going on dates, especially the first, second, and third date. There's no need for it. You may not even end up making it to a second date. No need to tell your whole life story. That's too much information, TMI, and it also pushes men away. It's a turnoff. And it's also a red flag for men because they like, why is she telling me all this? They're, they are making an assessment just like you're making an assessment of them in this first initial date, in the second date, they're, they're, they have limited information about you. So being honest is so important because that is a quality and it's, it's your character that is going to be really instrumental in carrying your relationship forward, in establishing the kind of woman that you are. But you want to have limited openness when you're being honest because, like I said, TMI. So what does that look like? Well, I see what happens all the time is women share about their exes or their divorce or their trauma. It's like, yeah, we got divorced. It was amicable. So we we got back together like three or four times. Stop. Do not say that. That's exactly what I did. And that's why I'm telling you this. Everything I share with you is from my own experience or my firsthand experience with clients. Now, I did get back with my ex-husband multiple times and it was fairly dysfunctional. So I'm not going to share that. I learned and I, I, I got the lesson from that experience, but I didn't need to share that on date because like I said, he's going to go, why would you get a divorce and get back together? So it's important that you, you limit the amount that you share. You want to be honest, but with limited openness. Another thing that I see women do is share too much about their family or share too much about their work. They get into these long-winded discussions about something that happened in between you and maybe another woman, or maybe it's a man. And it it just can be so self-sabotaging. So make sure you you tell the truth, but make sure you just tell a little bit of the truth, see how it's received, and then you can decide to tell a little bit more, but you want to tell a little bit of the truth, then let him tell you a little truth. And then you continue to match that. And that'll really help you. And just remember to limit the openness because I'm going to go on to trait number two, which is be mysterious. Being mysterious is not a game. Men love a challenge. Men want to earn you. They, they value things that they have to earn far more than it's just given to them. So be mysterious so that they can seduce you. They can pursue you. When they don't know everything, it gives them something to go after. So how you could be uh, mysterious in dating is if they're asking you questions and you could maybe he says, you know, are you dating? And when a man asks me if I'm dating, I would say, yes, I'm dating. I'm here with you. But he's really looking to know what the competition is. Who who else are you dating? And some men are judgmental about this. It's definitely a a, a double, you know, it's a double standard. Some men will date multiple women, but will judge a woman if she dates multiple men. But I 
So I'm 100% want you to be dating multiple men, as many as you can at once comfortably, two or three, and until they go through a process process of an elimination with you. And so you just say, I'm dating, I'm dating. You could also add in, why do you ask? So that's just a little mysterious. It's not a game. You're limiting your openness. It's really none of his business. You just met him. He's a stranger. He gets just little bits of information because you're building a rapport. And also you want to leave something for the next day. You want him to be in this discovery mode for as long as he can. And so another thing would be be mysterious. For example, even when you get married, you can be mysterious. I went up to Los Angeles. I booked a hotel and um, I told my husband I'm going up. He said, great, and I'll be back tomorrow. I just went for one night. Now, I didn't tell him where I was staying. I wanted to be a little mysterious. He could have asked me, where are you staying? And I would have told him, but he didn't ask, so I didn't offer. So he didn't really know where I was staying, and that created a little mystery. And it's fun. It's fun within your marriage to make sure that you remember these qualities when you're married. You don't need to, to stop being mysterious, stop being open. It's fun. And um, it was also fun to tell him about where I stayed and what I experienced. So make sure you just leave a little mystery. Men just love it. All right. Now, if you're liking the content, I sure would love it if you subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Hit that like button. I love your comments and I want to hear from you. So make sure that you, you do that. Now, the third and final um, tip that I want to give you today is confidence. Men absolutely love confident women. They can come in, in different packages, but confidence is all about how you feel about yourself. And if you feel confident about yourself, a man's going to feel confident about you as well. And so I find that confidence really comes from self-trust. I am extremely confident. And I don't say that as boasting or egotistical. The reason why I'm confident is because I'm competent I trust myself. I know that if I say I'm going to do something, I'll do it. If I know that I put myself in so many positions where I have to like start the conversation, give toes, speak on, you know, film on, on camera, make these videos for you. And because I have created the structure around that, I've created some competency, it's made me feel confident. So if you don't feel confident, go on more dates. You will be, become more confident by the experiences you have. And so when I say competent, it's like I'm following through. I'm doing what I said I would do. That builds confidence. Something that tears your confidence down more than anything is if you don't follow through. You hurt yourself in doing that because you, you start to not trust yourself. And self-trust is one of the key components for everything I talk about. Trusting yourself to follow through, trusting yourself to bring balance to your life, trusting yourself to set boundaries, emotional boundaries for yourself. It all comes down to you trusting yourself. That's going to build a lot of confidence. Confidence comes from the inside. It's something you project out. Yeah, and it doesn't help to, you know, put some effort into your look, but I'm telling you, you can be really confident coming out of the gym with your hair in a ponytail and no makeup, going into the grocery store and then running to a guy maybe you saw at the gym and having a conversation. In fact, men really love it when you don't have makeup on and your hair isn't done. Read, read, go online and look at all these statistics that say men really love uh, a woman who is natural, but also I think most men also like it when we put in an effort. So those are the three traits that I think men really want and need to, especially from a quality man, to have a, a healthy relationship. And I know that if you're watching me and you're on this channel, you're here to find out how to have a great, healthy, harmonious relationship that lasts a lifetime. So thanks for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights, doing what we want to